Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to another Manuel Graphics tutorial. Today in this tutorial we'll be looking into how I light my scenes in Blender. Um, this was a request tutorial so I thought I'd um, get around to it as quick as possible. Um, so yes, let's open up Blender and see what we got. So I've set up this little scene here. It's a simple scene with camera, this like studio background this abstract distorted thing along with um, a sun lamp. So my most commonly used lighting um, lighting object that I use to light my scenes is this sun lamp. It provides a like extremely extremely good source of customizable light. Um, and it also lights the whole scene, it's like a sun would. You can edit the um, the size of the shadows and the strength of the of the actual sun, which is really, really good. You can also change the color. So if I just lower my, my render, my samples down to 10, let's say I've wanted a red scene. literally the sun lamp would produce a red light you can see would produce a red light to go in that scene so currently I usually have it on white with a 0 0.3 shadow um, and that usually gives me a really really cool effect something like that so you can see the the direction of the light and also the shadow. And use this, I would use the sun lamp for a more, um, for a scene that needed a light source, um, like a, a customizable light source. If you're just rendering some text, I wouldn't use a sun lamp. Um, but if you're in a scene and you want to customize where the light's coming from, and everything else, then I'd highly recommend using a sun lamp, and that is what I use. Um, the other thing I've started exploring using is ambient occl um, occlusion, which gives some pretty cool results. It's like it's a very standard um, lighting technique, like the light comes from the um, right down, and of course casts shadow where shadow is. I'll just show you a um, two images that I made of this exact render. Let me just get them up. Here we go. So this first image here, um, here is the same render in the background. This one was rendered with ambient occlusion. As you see, a really strong light source um, with some definite shadows. I, I really like how this lighting came out. And the second one was rendered using a sun lamp. And as you can see, more shadows and a very direct piece of um, sun. So. It depends really what you're rendering. Um, that determines what lamp you're going to use and what type of um, lighting are you going to use. So good things about the sun lamp is that you can customize it from where the light source is going to come from. You can customize how big the shadows, how little the shadows, the strength of it. Um, it's a really all round good lighting source, whereas the ambient occlusion is very, very default um, vanilla. You're going to get the same results consistent. It's consistent results and they look really, really nice. Um, the My wallpaper background here, this was rendered with an ambient occlusion and I think it came out really, really cool here. Um, yeah. So if we open up Blender again, it as I said, it really depends on your scene. If you're rendering just like an object like this, 
then you're obviously going to use ambient occlusion. Well, that's what I would use. And if you're rendering like a proper scene, like a, my camp scene, my high flying, that all uses a sun lamp because um, it lights the whole scene and I can add direct lighting, indirect lighting, all these other things. So to find the sun lamp, if you don't know, we go shift A, lamp, sun, and that will add a sun lamp. And if you want to um, do ambient occlusion, go over to the um, properties pane up here and go to the world tab and click ambient occlusion. There's all these different um, things you can edit with ambient occlusion. So thank you very much for watching this tutorial, and I shall catch you in my next video.